Okay, guys, so we are going to discuss this video about how to search data from database and display to our ESP.NET web application. So before, we already discuss about how to save the data to the SQL server using web application. So now we are going to retrieve the data from database and display to this the to the form. Okay. So I will open the Visual Studio. Okay. Here uh, I want to see the project before. This one, this is the project that we used before. Okay. Now, as you can see here, there is already a design. Like this this is the student uh, uh, like a registration form before we discuss about how to save the data to the database okay now we are going to retrieve the data to the database so now I will put here a text box Okay, then I will say search, I will change the name here, btn, search, okay, I will change the height of this one so that it will be good looking, 29. Now our purpose here is once the once the user put the student ID here, then he click the search button. Automatic, all the data will come or will display here in this text box. For example, here student ID, then click search. Automatically, the first name and last name and year also will be will display. Okay, so first we are using the SQL Server database. This is our database, Student Information DB. Now, as you can see, this is our database. Okay, so you already already have designed. Our data which is student ID 001 and 002 now how to display this data to the form okay first thing to do is to create stored procedure how to create that one we will go here programmatically stored procedure okay we will create here new stored procedure okay I will select all and delete we will create from scratch. Okay, create procedure. We will name this one as a uh, search employee by ID. Okay, now we will put here a parameter which is the student ID okay this one is the 50 char character so we can say here uh, like 20 or 10 this is okay because a uh, student ID will be like 10 characters only like that okay 
then we will use here select all from then drag this table registration where okay we will see here what is the okay what is the field name student id equal to student id parameter okay execute then we will put here alter okay now changes the id because before we are using the student i so there is no we'll delete this one we'll change this student id uh, search form. okay then we will use this stored procedure now go back to the web application okay we will put here the code when you when you click this search automatic execute the code okay this is the code okay, as you can see we already create the uh, classes or the class to uh, easy to code we put all the uh, uh, codes there to call only if we needed that one okay for example this one execute query it's already here execute non query execute query no execute non query is not here so we will put here the execute query and execute reader okay so now we need to create here in our classes the execute query and also uh, data uh, data table so I have uh, created here like uh, this one execute query okay I will copy this one so that it's easy for us it's fast okay then this one we will use this comb then we will uh, declare the SQL data adapter here private SQL data adapter adapt uh, no, SQL D then we will declare also the data set here SQL connection, what is this SQL connection here? SQL con. Here also is SQL trans. Then SQL con. Yes, this one. This is the code. Okay. This is the code that we are going to use when you want to get the data from database okay so we will plus only the parameter here and automatic this one will return the data set data set it means the, ta the data in the table that you will put into data set okay so this data set will hold the data which is get from the uh, database now how to use this one so we will go back here okay we'll put here try catch 
okay then finally so the connection will be here in the see it as you can see before this is the connection so connection so we will use this one variable here but here too this is the object mclsda number two da connect okay next is we need to close here okay throw the error now we will use this one how many parameters this one student id okay mclsd that add parameter Okay, this is the parameter name, student ID, then the value, what is the value, txt, student ID, which is the text box of student ID, which is here, this one, As you can see, the name of this one is txt, student ID. Now, go back to the code. We will declare here data table. Okay. Data table means we will use this one to hold the data from the data set. Okay. We will transfer to the ta from data set to the ta data table. So how to use this one? DT is equal to CLSD that execute query uh, as you can see execute query is here this one okay we will pass the parameter here the SQL or the query and then the command type how to use that one here the stored procedure is here We'll copy the name of the stored procedure. We'll put here. Okay. Comma. The command type. So what is the command type? Uh, we will put here. Command type that stored procedure. That table. Zero. So it means. This one execute query is the data set as you can see here we are returning the data set but we convert to data table okay. now we will use the if statement we will check if data table that rows that count if there is a data okay it will execute this one. Now, we will declare here the data table reader. What's the use of data table reader? The use of data table reader is to get the data of the column okay, in the database which is reading the data from that database which is specified by column for, how to use that one is like, like this for example you want to display the uh, first name you will put here tx the first name the text okay then just wait we need to get the data mclsda to that execute we will use here the data table reader which is this one Yan. we'll copy this one and paste again here Yan. 
same because the variable here is smaller c it is b okay then one and this q at runs This one, you will return this one uh, as data table reader. How to use that one? This one, dr, mclsd2.execute reader, okay. This one, a stored procedure, and command type, stored procedure. We are using stored procedure here because we are using stored procedure um, uh, methods, functions. Then, while dr.read. Now, the x the first name, the text is equal to dr. What's the column name? First name, okay, the two string. So whatever the value of this one, it will display on this text box. So all the data will come here in the data table reader and then we will get by column name. Okay, TX the last name, the text, we are that last name. Last name, first name and last name will be here. It should be here. This one and this one. Okay. Next is txt year text. Make sure the column name will be same with this here. Here, you need to copy this one and paste here. Make sure the same spelling. Okay. 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 We will check if this is correct. As you can see, this is the form. What's the student ID? For example, 001. Search. As you can see, this data is here. Or here in the table itself. Okay. 001. The first name will be JP. Here, last name and year is 4. If you put here 002 then search one de la cross will be in the text box will be displayed. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this uh, video. I hope you learn and make sure when you want to get this one make sure you um, you watch the first video so that you can see the first or the how to create the class connection there okay thank you very much uh, please subscribe to my channel so that you will get the more uh, incoming videos thank you